Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I shall be reviewing Glyphs by Mustafa Barjawi. Before I do this review of Glyphs, I'd like you to like and subscribe, share, but please do not share this. Uh, some people do share on their YouTube, um, their uh, Facebook pages and stuff like that. Please do not share this on any non-magicians specific sites because I'm very cagey about these kind of things getting out. These are really strong miracles, things like what we're going to talk about, uh, that we're going to talk about today. And it really does rely on people not knowing. I know some exposure is fine in certain ways, but this is, uh, I'm going to be exposing certain things because I've talked to Mustafa and that's fine, but just be aware of that. And then after this, go and look at onlinemagic.co, which is my online magic course. Over six, 700 videos now, live sessions every week. It's good. It's joyous. Go and have a look at it. Thanks. And it's very, very reasonable, as everybody says in the Trustpilot reviews uh, on there. Right. So what's in here is what I'm going to tell you, which I didn't think I should, would, would have been telling you, but apparently it's good. First of all, the effect. I did put a YouTube short on and on my socials. Do check out um, probably at Steve Faulkner on Insta is where I'm going to be putting most stuff. You can, the Real Magic Review channel will have things as well, but if you want to look at all my magic performances, a lot of the stuff I'm reviewing, it'll be at Steve Faulkner on Instagram and at Steve Faulkner without the V, etc. S-T-E Faulkner on TikTok because I've, I've got a little thing on TikTok. Not much there now, but that's that. Uh, have a look at that. You will see me performing this. Now on those channels, I didn't put this with glyphs because I didn't want anybody even Googling it. The effects that you can do with this are many, but the basic effect is the one that I did. Well, a basic effect is one that I did that uses just the system you get in here, nothing else. And that'll make sense when I talk in more detail. I went, I go in, someone writes down any, um, price over anything they go into a shop they write down the price um i go into my bag i pick a load of receipts up this is just my presentation i'm not saying it's but there's so many things you can do and the, the price on the receipt matches the one that they've merely just made up and thought of but this doesn't have to be prices and money and things like that it can be a word any word you like okay just so we don't just so you can show everybody write on my notes or write it here or etc and or just tell me and there are different methods of of doing what we need to do and you've got a piece of paper that reveals handwritten um, apparently the word that they thought of it can be a number it can be anything you want so basically they name anything and all write it on your notes or you use a different method to end up with a piece of paper with the information on one of the things people use this a lot for is lottery predictions so you can get a lottery ticket that looks like your local lottery tickets with the prediction, Powerball, added bit or not. And you've got the numbers that people have just, you know, written down and they end up on a lottery ticket. So it's, it's a, an amazing prediction, piece of mentalism, coincidence effect, however you want to sell it. And that's what you can do with this. Now, if you want loads of different ways of using this, you can then implement different apps, okay, because this is not just an app, it's an app and a piece of equipment, but it's, it, it implements different, uh, so you use the API to link different apps. So for example, when I was at a party, which I didn't get footage from, is that I did wiki tests. So my phone wasn't involved at all. Someone else did it on their phone. They searched someone on Wikipedia, and then I had a bit of paper that was put out beforehand. I opened a bit of paper, apparently, and it's got that handwritten word on it that they've seen me write beforehand. So when you start getting other apps involved, and it works with so many apps, I'll talk about a few of them, um, it becomes even more miraculous. Now, I will say, one of the things that problem with that I had, the way I wanted to do it was a very basic way of doing it, was using my phone, write it in my notes, and I was like, oh, they're writing in my notes. You, honestly, no, it doesn't even come into it. It's not even a problem. All they remember is that effect. It's, it's great, and there are certain things and ways of doing it that make it... Um, less obvious but don't worry about that before we go on I will say this is a high priced item okay you, it's probably not the sort of well saying no, I have known people to do this but it's not the sort of thing probably that you're going to sort of do, you know, show a couple of mates and then put it in the drawer you don't want to do that this is an investment it's something you're going to want to perform on stage 
or in close-up, importantly. It involves a thermal printer. Now, this is the exposure bit, but hopefully by the time we've got here, nobody's going to be... Uh, uh, and that's important. It's not the first trick to involve a thermal printer. It's, it's, there are similar things around, but there is something in this that makes it incredibly portable. Portable? Portable. Very usable. It has not missed once. And I've been here with bits of paper all over the place. It hasn't missed once. So I'm now confident, as confident as I'm going to be. It doesn't say it will never happen. But maybe you want to back up anyway when you're using anything electronic. But the, the it's been stable. I've looked on the Facebook page. It's super, super, super stable. Nobody's had any problems. And if they have, it's been just because they've set something up wrong. So, that, so it works well. It feels robust. It feels like it's not going to fail. It's easy to do. Now, you might think, well, of course it's easy to do. It's an app. Not always. Many apps, and some of them still make them brilliant apps, have loads and loads and loads of settings. That is going to be a real issue for someone or some people, not someone, not like one person out of everybody. The one person is going to find that a real issue. But for some people, um, on, when the apps have loads and loads of settings, uh, it's an issue. Sorry, my brain isn't working at all. And it is for me, I find it really, really hard because it's great when I'm doing it. But if I go back to it a month later, I kind of forget things. This is really, he's made it specifically to be just a few settings and you're kind of ready to go. You know, if you want to use the API, if you want to use the notes, if you want to use, so it's just really, really um, easy to use. And he has a really, really clear PDF instruction booklet, which you can download off the Facebook page. And that is so useful because so many people don't, and I understand why they don't, but it just, it, you're going to be set up and ready to go with that. So it's easy. It's powerful, really powerful. And if you want to start getting more involved in it, then you have to start maybe putting a bit of work in. So the receipt that I designed for the, the video that I did was there's a shop up the road called Katie, and it's actually there because I wanted to do it locally. And I designed that receipt in Photoshop to look the same. And so now that was a bit of work. It's, you know, I had to go and Photoshop and do it. There are templates available for Mustafa. You get templates involved if you just want to do the handwritten thing, uh, included, sorry, if you just want to do the handwritten thing, that doesn't really require a template. You still have to set it up in settings, which is very simple, but it's, you can still work amazing miracles without doing all that. Um, once you've done that a few times, I think you're going to find it easier. Of course, you can use things like Canva. You don't have to use Photoshop. And it has the, the creator, template creator within it, which you import into, which sounds complex for some people. But for me, you know, I'm not great at this stuff and I really got the hang of it and I totally feel fine with it now. And if you want to print out big uh, lottery tickets, there's a way of doing it with that printer, but some people might want to get a bigger printer, but I, I don't think you need to do that. There's a way of doing it with with this printer with the lottery ticket. And of course it doesn't use ink, it recharges, it lasts for ages. Um, you have to uh, recharge it very rarely. Of course you would want to do that if you were performing it as well. Um, and all great. The downsides, and we'll talk about other in, implications and integrations in a minute. The, there are a couple of downsides to it. There are the unit itself, you might have to be a little bit careful where you put it. Now, I stick it in a bag, it's fine. I had it in my, my bag and I, I'm fine with that. I've created, I've added like a, I've got a bit of Velcro and added a little bit of plastic to it just that when the receipt prints out, I know it's not going to get caught anywhere. To be honest, I don't think I need it. It's kind of a fail-safe thing, but it caught, I made it out of a CD case. It took me three minutes. Just snap the CD case in half, put a bit of Velcro on it on the bottom of the printer, and I just know that, that that's going to be fine. People have made lots of different kind of boxes. You can Velcro it to an underside of a box, which will take you two minutes. And then, obviously, someone um, uh, does a thing. You open the box, the printer's in the top of the box and falls into the box. All that. Bit. So there's loads of brilliant applications. Talking about applications, the... Oh yeah, and there is a thing where the gears of the printer are kind of half exposed. Some exposed. Some people have kind of created little ways of protecting that. I kind of think it's okay. I'm not going to bother to be honest. But if you are chucking it around, you might want to be a bit careful. Mustafa talked to me a lot about using um, the architect of predictions. That's what it's called, isn't it? Uh, app. He uses that a lot with it. I haven't got that. I don't have it. I haven't bought it. I'm tempted to because everybody says it's great, but I've got so many apps where I get sent to review that I kind of think, do I need to buy another app? But apparently that's great. With Mustafa's Rain Man app that he sent me to play with, it's also brilliant. If you know about that app, I'm not going to go into it, but it makes you look like a genius and you can do book tests. And of course, 
it kind of links to that. The Peaksmith 3 I've been using with it, which is great because it gives you this backup. If for some reason something doesn't print, something doesn't happen, you've, you've got what they've written in your head and you haven't even looked, they could still have the phone on them. So that creates another level of it and it creates you a little bit of uh, safety there. The other apps, Wikitest, as I said, um, I'm going to talk about, oh, what's it called? The one with the song lyrics on it. Ellipse. That's it. We get song lyrics from which Mustafa did to me over the over Zoom and was just absolutely amazing. Any song, any lyric from any song, and you've got it printed out on a bit of paper. It's great for virtual stuff as well. Um, Hydra, which I haven't used, which um, Mustafa says he uses it with, and um, Inject. And basically, all of the apps we know are good that just work with this and seem to just connect so easily and so seamlessly. This is... A <laughs> that's the news this has so much well i was going to say potential but even with it now without the the things that are clearly going to be added in the future and other integrations but there's so much you can do with just the system itself without any of those other things incidentally digital force bag i saw someone on the facebook page your facebook page is great of people helping out do a a routine with digital force bag which means you they don't have to get your notes and put it in it you do it within the presentation itself so you force something you produce it and then then you do something you know, i'm not going to go into it because it was their presentation but i've come up based on that with that inspiration a really lovely one using um digital force bag and this so but I'm, i really have to say that if you get this system and you just use it you're going to create miracle stage it's absolutely perfect um, because you've got it all set up, I, but you can use this walk around and that's important. Now I have looked at other similar apps that you can do and walk around and they're great, but I haven't been able to try them because you need specific things. You didn't get the printer with it. That's fine. That's not a criticism, but I need to be able to work with it to review it. Now this comes with the system with everything, with the app, the printer and the PDF and all, um, I think a template. And if you need a consultation with Mustafa, he'll give you that so you get completely set up with it. But it's kind of like about $850. Again, for those of you used to buying stuff for stage, used to buying that stuff, it's actually not as high as a lot of things. And I think it's it's really, really special. And once you start getting the hang of it, which won't be long, you're going to be able to do so much with it. Oh, what I forgot to mention, I talked about Peak Smith, but you can peek on your phone as well with Touch to Peak, which if you've got wiki test, you'll know about things like that, where you have a blank screen or a, uh, a screen with your home screen on it and you can press it and you see the peak and then unpress it and you, it's, you don't see it. So you can use your phone for that if you haven't got those things. And just something I thought of then um, is that it's Andrush and Benka Smith. Andrush created Peak Smith, well, all the Peak Smiths and, and the spotted dice and all the hardware, while Benka... Is, look, is using the Dice Smith, creating a Dice Smith app and um, Time Smith, things like that. A lot of people are using those together as well. So they're doing a lot of work in collaboration. So loads of exciting things. Right, there's a fly. Um, I didn't kill it. Just pretended to make myself look manly. Um, so that's that. There's the information. It's, I know there's a lot to go through. So if you want to ask questions, do put them below. This is important because the next show I do on the live show, which will be about this and other stuff, but I wanted to answer questions about this because there will be a lot um, of, of questions, no doubt, about the workings of it, about the reliability of it, about other things you can do and other things I have done. So just know that uh, anything at all, comments below and I shall answer them this coming Thursday. And you can obviously, if you're watching this later, you can go back to the next live one after this and watch it. Thanks very much. Thanks to Mustafa um, from Illusionary for sending me this. And you can go to Illusionary, Illusionary and buy this. All the information will be there. Please use the links below. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I was going to say share, but share it if you share it on Magician Only groups. And uh, comment and go now, right now, and check out onlinemagic.co. Thanks a lot.